We're all healed up. So we should be good to hopefully face this next boss. Hopefully, they aren't super, super, super overpowered. And around my level, hopefully. I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thank you. Jen, Cassiopeia. Clive? My boy? Fellow youth? So you made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was so wary of you at first. Well, it's all water under the bridge now. When we're finished with, the, with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind. Hmm. Do we have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out on the uh, into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. We've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me down, either of you. All right, calm down. Don't need to put so much pressure on me. I'm just a child. Cassiopeia's hung up. All right. Thanks to you, Jen, I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do. And I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't... Why do you keep slicking your hair back? I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Master Jen. Ah, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. Hmm. Hmm. Those shorts really fit you. Alright. Let's handle the... Oh! Another cutscene. I'll return later when it's time for that young master uh, piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrington. Hello. How goes it? And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Uh, I don't know who I am. As you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's ferry crew. The Ruck... Ruck... The Ruck... The, I, it's... Alright. The or I'm gonna just say the Ortega squad. Um, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to give out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. <laughs> the, <laughs> shit. <coughs> Do you have any idea as to who this young man might be? I am Jen. He's no friend of ours, you know. I think he might be t here to try and take us on. I am indeed. Hello. Understood in that case. I take it you're an adversary of the young master. I guess? Is that so? Well, then that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Sure. I'm down. Alright. Are you this gonna be the, the entrance exam? To get into there? Hopefully. Let's see how he's doing. Oh. That creepy thing. The humanoid Pokemon. For the not all of them. But a lot of them just they're just, they're just so weird looking. Like it looks like a little goblin. It does not look like a Pokemon. Oh, the attack real sharply. Flower trick. Whoppa! Drop a seed on you. That move is so good. That move is so, so good. I gotta put Quick Claw on Catnip. Alright. Uh, I think we'll be fine to keep battling. I don't think we need to tag out here. I don't even know what this Pokemon is, but I'm assuming... Oh, it's so cute! Uh, let's go with Flower Trick again. I'm not sure if the whole, like, skipping frames thing is a part of the move or just the fact that it's on the Switch and it's Pokemon, so not well optimized, but it kind of fits. Well, well. All I have to say about that? Hmm. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hasta la vista. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy. I think. At least what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubt you're here to make trouble, so I gotta let everyone know. Hasta la vista. Oh, so that was the, the entrance exam. So now I just walk in. Destroy 30 Pokemon and then have the boss run at me. I got it. 
I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. Didn't even know I was dealing with the guard. Looks like a nice old man. That base belongs to Team Star's Fairy Crew. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. Maybe the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point in his short is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just stuff it out until Ortega shows up, and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready. Okay. Time to wipe Team Star off the map. Wait one second. Let me put up... Uh, This might be fine, but just in case. I don't know what is weak against fairy types, so I'm going to go with this. I think that'll be fine. Oh, don't, know, don't need to sneak in. They already know I'm here. Yep, let's go. Let's take out these 30 Pokemon, and then end... Team Star. Well, I guess we gotta, we gotta fight the boss, Team Star, the mastermind of Team Star afterwards, but we'll figure it out. Even the small stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. With the last bastion of Team Star, losing isn't an option. Hey, kitty, listening? 30, 10 minutes. Figure it out. Just like all the other ones. I got you. I hope, I hope that they are not somehow higher level than, uh, than Aerie. What is that creature? What are with these, like, Funko Pop looking Pokemon this generation? I am not a fan of them. It's all 30 of them. Nice. Time for Ortega to show himself. Again, really hoping, really, really hoping that Ortega is not somehow a higher level than Aerie. Because Aerie gave me the work. Ortega is kind of dripped out right now, though. Hello. Look at your car. Very, very drippy. So you're Jen. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. Uh, first first off, why are you judging me? What did I do? I mean, I, I did take down, like, all your friends, but still. Well, what's the issue here? I have no bad blood with you. Kind of got dragged into this. All right. Uh, if you think fairy tapes are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. He's going to send out the most adorable Pokemon. And my mind will not change at all. You are smooth with it. Azumarill? Is it Azu Azumarill or Azumarill? Hmm. Never figured that one out. Let's do Dragon Dance, level 50. So they're, they're, I guess they're around the level of uh, Aerie. Maybe a little lower. So I think all of Aerie's Pokemon were above level 50 by a decent amount. I'm not well, it was like level fits like 52, 50, 54. You hit one move. Why are you bragging, my boy? Calm down. We're we're on. The, we're all uh, trying to be friends here. Let's go with Ice Fang. Not very effective. Understood. Don't know why I would go with Ice Fang there, though, knowing that you are a Water type. All right. Let's go with probably Waterfall. We're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to keep using Crunch until they get not we Huh. For lips, I think the best move is Waterfall. Even though it's not very effective. Just because everything else is so weak, apparently. None of the moves that Lips has is effective against Azumero. So I guess this is just the way it is. Just two beefcakes fighting each other right now. Uh hopefully. Whatever Ortega sends out next won't be faster than Lips. Or we can just tag out Wigglytuff. Let's switch out. Let's go with let's go with Catnip. Why not? Or a missile tool hasn't got a lot of like a lot of showcasing. Maybe I think poison types are actually super effective against fairy types. I can be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that poison types are. At the very least, they're they're not 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 effective. So yes, I was right. Okay. Poison jab. Good job, Mistletoad. K 
killing it. Victory Screech. Oh, not Dash Bun. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that name because it's Dachshund in real life for like the Pokemon that they modeled it after or the, the, the Pokemon, the dog they modeled it after. But it, but Doc, Doc's button sounds kind of weird. Man, you are smacking people, Mistletoad. Good job. All right, here's Revel Room. Hopefully you're not as annoying. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. I am really, really hoping that this vehicle does not give us the work. Misty Surge. This vehicle is going to give me the work. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I think we just keep going with Poison Jab here. Steel Roller. Mm. Little mean. Well, that was it. it just immediately disappeared. Good job. Yeah, this one was a, a lot easier than... Oh, Mistletoe, don't get knocked out now. Oh my god, don't, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself in your confusion. Don't be confused. Don't be confused. Don't, don't do it. Let's go. Good job. Okay. I don't want to lose anybody here. So I think we go with... Maybe Overbite can... Uh, I know that I'm pretty sure Mullet can survive at least one move. So let's put Mullet in. Mistletoe did great. Mistletoe did a lot better than I expected. So definitely overachieved. And now with Intimidate, Mullet should be fine. Yeah. More than fine. Okay. I think we just go with probably Flamethrower here and call it one. Confuse Ray? You would. You would. Hmm. And knowing my luck, Mullet is going to somehow hit itself with a flamethrower. Oh, they didn't. Nice. The only issue now is... Uh, actually, I think it'll be fine. What is, what is more damage? Flamethrower. What was he using flamethrower? All right, we're good. Again, the only issue is if, if, if Confuse Ray makes Mullet, again, somehow hit himself with a with, uh, flamethrower. All right, blessed. Good job. Nobody on this team did a bad move and missed a car. That's a stationary car. Good job. Good job, everybody. Especially you, Mrs. Oh, you, you killed it. How could I lose? What the heck? On the bright side. You have a cool disco ball. About a year and a half ago. Y'all did not change for a year and a half. Y'all shower at least. Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. And I was up... <coughs> Alright, Batman. I was up all night building it. The problem is clearly that we are not given enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Char Cadet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces when we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come on, good fellow. There's no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand. Genius. Thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout... They've just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? Ooh. That'd look cool, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Where did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just crank up the power somehow. Don't take... It doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. I'm gonna go train up my Char Cadet and have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving, no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Aw. 
You know Mela shoots her mouth off uh, an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. Mm. This sucks. <laughs> oh, you getting flashbacks, Ortega? I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code will make me a traitor to the team. Yeah, fine. Not like I have a choice anyways to take the badge already. You'd better treat it with the respect it deserves. You know, technically you, you wouldn't be a traitor because there is no team left. Y'all all lost. Everybody. All of you lost. Not done yet. He's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. I didn't even see you use this. Is your favorite move? What were you saving it for? Just so you know, you are the worst, like the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Oh, young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington, I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. You know, just good old Clive. What's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the team since I was being bullied. So the academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the butterflies, or and the, the butterflies and the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why would happen to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question, Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. Hitherto? Hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetuated, or who perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another but but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy no i should imagine not my former deputy deleted all records of the incident you see what why would anyone do that just as i was puzzling over how best to deal with team star in the aftermath of the incident a certain student came to see me the student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions in exchange they requested that i exo exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No, no one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take discipl uh, disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the students who took to who the student, not students, who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad? This was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. <gasps> so he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching, uh, teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in heading in our handing in their notices. <gasps> so that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on its current fashion. Is that a pun because the heel is an apparel company, huh, Mr. Harrington? I see. I merely wish you to give. I, re I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because you know they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Everybody, everybody gets A's. You get A's. Everybody gets an A. A plus even. I mean, that's all of them, right? So are we done with the Team Star storyline?
Jen, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ortega's star badge? Here it is. In all its Ortega glory. With his boss no longer around, the, or the Ortega squad is as good as finished. So Ortega was the last. All, f all five squad bosses have uh, been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their positions. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the Academy. Clive, nice work out there, Jen. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward, Jen. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Thank you, thank you. 20,000. And more TMs. Well, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You can go ahead and give Jen his bonus reward now. Thank you. wonder where Penny is. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. We must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where? Where are they? Where are they? Don't worry. There's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss... Is none other than me. <gasps> Shocker. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep you, uh, keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star back in the day, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Jen. I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. After dark? You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then, I'll see you both there. What's after dark? What do you guys consider after dark, though? So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time? I scarcely thought it was uh, thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. I'm really hoping... I'm going straight over there. So I'm really hoping that my team is not under level. At this point, I I'm, I'm, I, I don't even know if I'm under-leveled, over-leveled. Just right. No idea. 